So recently somebody invited me to their house, then uh, they gave me the address and it's a Tughlaq Road. I said, I'm not coming. He burned nine million books, eight to ten thousand monks, they burned them also alive. Seventy thousand kurgis were killed. Men were slaughtered, women were forced to marry uh, on the same day. Murderers, rapists, people who tried to com commit genocide, their names should not be on our towns and streets. that Hindu awakening you're seeing happening in the near future? How long do you think that will take? Instead of using the word Hindu, I would use the word Sanatan is better because Sanatan means eternal. Nothing can be eternal unless it's all-inclusive. So when we say Sanatan, we are talking about an eternal dharma does not mean a religion. Unfortunately, this word has gotten around like this, dharma does not mean religion, dharma means the law, an eternal law. How you arrive at eternal laws? By observation, not by imagination, not by dogma, but by observation and realization, you come to in alignment with creation. Only that can be sanatana. So, that is the essence of who we are. That's not been conveyed to most of the Hindu population, unfortunately. Lot of Hindus talking about, we have our own book. We did not fall out of a book, you know. We made many books, thousands of them. Well, when uh, Kilji guy, what's his name? Bhaktiar Kilji. Bhaktiar Kilji came in one university, the Nalanda University, he burnt, it's, it's estimated that he burnt nine million books, five hundred, six hundred years ago, nine million books. Nowhere on the planet there were nine million books anywhere. They burnt for six months. That's what they say. Some people say it's twelve months, you're saying six months, it doesn't matter. There was no petroleum, so it is possible it took six months or twelve months. More than that, they burnt over, they say, eight to ten thousand monks because most of them could recite one one book by themselves. So they thought books will live within you, so they burnt them also alive. So the incredible thing is, the modern day Bharat names that region as Bhakti Arpur. So this is one thing we must do. Vikram, you must write a book on this. There are Aurangzeb streets, Aurangabads, there are over sixty Aurangabads. There is Bhakti Arpur, there are Kutub Minar, the man who desecrated uh, both Hindu and Jain temples and built a monument out of that. There is of course uh, Sutipu Sultan. Most terrible things were done, over four hundred thousand Hindus were converted to Islam by force by Tipu Sultan just in the Malabar region. Men were slaughtered, they say, in, in a chronicle written by, approved by his own son, that means it's genuine. They proudly claim he killed a minimum of ten thousand Hindus. And uh, men were killed, women were forced to marry uh, on the same day of their husband's death. If they did not agree, hot iron was put into their privates. This is the way things were done. And I have nothing against Islamic rulers because that's our history. We allowed them to come and it happened. Kings who ruled benevol benevolently, you want to put their name is fine. But murderers, rapists, people who tried to com commit genocide and des desecrated hundreds of temples, their names should not be on our towns and streets. So recently somebody invited me to their house because of some pilots were meeting, you know. They said, Sadhguru, you must come, you are a licensed pilot, you must be there, they will love it, just ten minutes you come and go. I said, okay, give me the address, I will come. Then uh, they gave me the address and it said Tughlaq Road. I said, I'm not coming. <laughs> so you must understand, not because he's Islamic king, 
Because of what he's done, even if a Hindu king or a Christian like Robert Clive Street means I won't go. I said, you take a spray paint and paint that street board black, then I will come, otherwise I'm not coming to your house. Shamelessly, you're living on that street. I will not walk into that street. Why don't we have Adolf Hitler uh, Nagar? <laughs> Why don't we do this? Why don't we have Idi Amin, Idi Amin Nagar or uh, Puram? Why don't we? We don't do that. People who sh displayed extraordinary sense of cruelty to other human beings, whoever they were, we don't elegize them. But today in this country, there are hundreds of towns, villages and cities and streets named after these people. I'm sure you can recount better. I am not good at numbers, names and dates. Sadhguru, in our uh, state, Karnataka, there's also Tipu Jayanti. Forget towns, it's, we are also they, celebrating his birth. Tipu Jayanti, there was a Tipu Express. <laughs> One of the worst tyrants. Even converted dead Kurgis, not only those living, yes. but even the corpses the were Kur converted. We think Kurgs took the worst of the brunt. That's not a fact. It felt that way because the Kurgs fought. In other places, there were no fighting men, they just took it without so much resistance, so it's not so well recorded. Kurgs really fought, but seventy thousand Kurgis were killed. Guru. If you fight a battle and you get killed, considering those times, it was the order of the day, it's all right. It's all right if somebody comes and slaughters you in a battle. But it's not all right when you line up civilians and slaughter them and rape the women and slaughter the men, rape the women, slaughter the men. What is that? People who did that, their names should not be flying on towns and streets and circles, uh, you know, in our country, but unfortunately it is. I hope the future uh, elected leaders of this nation have enough wisdom to change that. <laughs>